God bless everyone. Today is December 25th, Christmas. So Merry Christmas. And uh, I know December 25th is, uh, is a very controversial date. You know, if you look at the history, Catholic Church, Cult of Mithra, and all that sort of stuff, yeah, I'm aware of all that stuff. But it's the same thing as with the canon that we have. It comes from the Catholic Church. The Bible, the Holy Bible that we have, it comes from the Catholic Church. So, at the end of the day, the question comes down to whether you yourself believe that what happened, what came from Catholic Church, is for a reason, is part of God's plan. Would God allow, ever, for God's Word to be in the shape or form that it is not supposed to? Basically, just a bunch of people came together and said, okay, you know what, this is going to be God's Word. Now, and in, ma in mass religions, that's a lot of times that's what happens. But when you are a true follower of Jesus Christ, things like this will not... They will not deceive you. They will not confuse you. You will be able to see through them. You will be able to see the good and the bad. And you will be able to distinguish. Because you can find good in everything, you can find bad in everything. Just like... Mass, world, big religions. So, Merry Christmas. Because this is a this is a very important date. It's a very important date, and I do not believe that God would allow anyone to uh, to make a false date for the birth of His Son. And today is a very important day for, you know, particularly the nations, the, the people decide where, where I come from, the, the East. The East, almost 2,000 years ago, my ancestors, the ancestors of our people, they came. A long journey. They made a long journey. Huge, crazy, huge journey. Even by today's standards. All the way from the east. They came all the way to Bethlehem. On camels. <laughs> and they brought gifts. They knew exactly they knew exactly where they were going. They knew exactly who they gonna find. They came for someone who has been predicted, we all know by all the Judaic, by all the ancestry of Israel, prophets. But also by prophets from, the, from our side, Zoroastrian prophets. They knew that Messiah was coming. They knew that someone who will save, who will show the path of salvation, who will teach people to understand something that people could not understand for so long, that someone was coming, the King of Kings, who will teach the people the righteous way. And they had such a strong faith that they traveled for miles across the desert, across mountains, all these different terrains, coming all the way from the east, the Persian side, to Bethlehem, following a star, <laughs> following a star. They didn't have the address, they didn't have following a star. Would you set off on a journey today, on a thousand mile, two thousand mile it's probably probably was a good 2,000 miles, if not more. Yeah, probably about 2,000 miles on uh, camels, following a star, <laughs> and then getting exactly where you were supposed to. I mean, this is huge. And seeing that child that was just born, 
and realizing that you are standing in front of the Savior who you've been waiting for all this time. It's huge. And then almost 2,000 years later, you see the state that the nation of the nation where I come from, my ancestors, my parents, my grandparents, how far away they got from, from the Savior because of mass religion. And it's the same thing with the Catholicism. That's why people have such a big problem with faith in general whenever it comes to the Christian side of the faith as a mass religion because of what Catholic Church did in the past and what they're doing now, what they've been doing all this time, what they were founded upon. Yeah, there's a lot of bad things that we can look at. But you have to remember that our Lord and Savior, our God is good because we know who our God is, Christ Jesus, the Son of God, who we are following, who we are in flesh here. It is Christ that is that the good in us, when we understand that, we, when we understand where the good is coming from, then we can allow this good to happen. We see this good happening in everything. Even when by our human standards, it's not, it's bad. We still see good in it. And because of it, we can approach everything with compassion, with understanding. We can get rid of pride. We can get rid of judgment, not permanently. Because we're still in flesh. We're still in flesh and because of that, we will always be under the influence of the ruler of this world. And we know who it is. But if you know who your good shepherd is, who your good Lord is, and if you're a follower of your good Lord, then you will never get, you'll never, you'll never get lost, you'll never stray away. And so, today on this December 25th, I want to wish you all Merry Christmas. Uh, I understand this when you subscribe to this channel and you, maybe you had different expectations and you didn't think that this is going to become about, you know, faith and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But this has been part of my journey and the good Lord did give me an opportunity to learn a lot and meet all the different people and experience things that I, I never thought I will and I'm really grateful for it and at this point of my life how much he already done for me I cannot continue doing things even with this channel knowing that they are for, for my benefit. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to do anything for my benefit anymore. Because doing things for his benefit is for my benefit, if it makes sense. And I understand that some of the things, they, they might be, I wouldn't say necessarily confusing, but unexplored for some people. But that's one of the reasons why I make, still make these videos and still upload them here. You know, I could have done another review of my Glock 17. <laughs> right now I could have been doing another review of a Glock 17. And I know that video would have gotten thousands of views, if not 100,000 views, hundreds of thousands of views. Like my previous Glock 17 review. <laughs> but, I would rather have 10 views on the video or, or whatever, or, or one view. And someone 
wherever you are, wherever you're in the world, whether you're in the United States of America or anywhere else, or whatever your religious background is, whatever your education, whoever you are. But someone who is getting sick and tired of everything just being pointless and wasteful, everything we are doing, the businesses that we are building, the stuff that we are accumulating, the relationships that we think we control, that we think we contribute to. Oh, you have to be good to your wife. Oh, you have to give gifts to your girlfriend on the Valentine's Day. Not realizing that it's all the tradition. All the tradition that always, these old traditions, they've been always detrimental. just like they were deadly for our Lord and Savior when He was here in flesh. The wineskins that He's talking about, His parable of wineskins. If you, if, you, if you do have interest for scripture, I would welcome you to, to, to hear or read that parable of the wineskins. Because if you put the new wine in the old wine skins, it's gonna burst. What is he talking about? He's talking about the old traditions that we accumulate as we grow up. And these traditions, they, they, they drag us down. And you can't pour in the spirit, the good spirit that is from our good Lord. Because the state that you are in, you won't be able to handle it. So before receiving that fresh, that new, you need to get rid of all this old, all this old accumulation over the years that came from your, everybody, everybody around you, your parents, your school, your neighbors, your friends, your everybody, or your girlfriends, your boyfriends, whatever, wives, husbands. You have to free yourself from everything in order to let in the, the new, and then you will be able to understand everything that happened in your life. And you will see that there was a reason for everything that happened in your life, that absolutely nothing, nothing was wasted. And just like that, any regret that you had is taken from you by His grace, by the grace of our Lord and, G and, and Savior Jesus Christ, who at only 33 years old, done something that I know I would never be able to do. <sighs> and I also know that without him, without this understanding, the 35 years of my life that I lived, I thought was pointless, that I did not accomplish anything because everything that I tried to do, everything that I thought I was accomplishing was going to waste. It was. It was meaningless, it was useless. It was making it worse, in fact. It was making it worse. I got into guns, and I, pff, I have plenty of examples from a row, but because this is my <laughs> Firearms of America channel, I got into guns, I got into the politics. I thought I was making a difference, but I was making worse because I was contributing to the division that is already big not just in this country, but around the world, you know? And yeah, I still have guns, I still shoot guns. <laughs> and I, I probably will always have guns. <laughs> but I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this knowledge, I'm grateful for this experience, and I know it is for a reason that I, you know, obviously, I have no doubts about it now. So all the doubts that I had about any of this, they have been lifted up from me. It's so comfortable. It's so freeing to not have doubts about your past, to not have doubts about your present, to not have doubts about your future. It is so comforting. His yoke is easy. That's one of the things that mass religion struggles so much on the Christian side to show to people. 
they make it all about suffering. Oh, you will suffer, you suffer. You know why they benefit from this kind of presentation of, of, of being a follower of Jesus Christ, of Christianity? Because they made people suffer themselves. They created a lot of suffering and they still create the suffering around the world. Vatican being one of the richest organized, I don't even know, whatever, syndicates. <laughs> it's like you, will, you look like one of those action movies and there's like this syndicate organization that wants to have world dominance, one world order. And you know they're bad. This is the same thing, except most people are like, well, is what it is. But when you become accepting of it, you become complacent with it. And your message, it becomes corrupted. How can you talk to people about being a follower of Jesus Christ and agreeing with that? I cannot do that. I don't agree with any of that. I see things that came good that I can say, you know, even in this, even through this, even through how corrupted our flesh is, God's plan is so perfect that the things came out, out of it that I can look at and say, this strengthens my faith in my good Lord. And that's why I'll keep making these videos because if you're one of those people, like I myself was once someone who needed confirmation, someone who needed confirmation that this the whole faith is a, it's a real deal. You have a meaning in life. You have a purpose. You, you personally have a purpose in life. Just like I do, just like every, everyone. Just like every single human on this, on the planet. You have a purpose. He gave you a purpose. And He's calling you every single day. He's calling you. He's calling you. He's showing you through everything that you consider good, that you consider bad. He's showing you, come, my son. Come, follow me. And if you can see this, you can see the faith, my faith in what I'm saying, my relationship with Jesus Christ. If that can strengthen your relationship with Jesus Christ, that's it. <laughs> that is the greatest thing that in flesh that's what I always wanted to accomplish doing these videos doing this politics, going to these conferences and speaking events and schools and, and traveling around the country and hopefully travel around the world one day. That's all I really care for. And it feels, feels amazing. That's the thing. I do not suffer. That's the complete opposite. It's the complete opposite. So, if you, if you hear the calling, don't doubt. Don't doubt. Yes, you will have a lot of resistance from the world of the flesh, from everyone around you. And, but you will always find that one voice that Christ is speaking to you through them even when they don't realize it themselves and calling you and saying yeah you always knew that you always knew that that's what you wanted to do that's what you that's what you love to do that's what you're good at that's you always knew that just just do it just do it in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ